Hey there, it's Aaron. In this video, we are going to do some light restoration on this antique photo, and then we're going to expand the canvas and bring this little headshot snapshot into not a full body portrait, but we'll give him a portrait and see if by giving him some environmental space and a little bit more of the body, if we can get some character and personality of ours out of our subject here. So the first thing that I'm going to do I see blemish here, here a couple, and there are a couple of them on the other side. So I'm just going to go in here with my clone tool and I'm going to select just very close to these blemishes and just give them a couple of clicks. So there's that one taken care of. And here we go. Maybe I'll just move to here for my selection, a little bit farther away. And I'll just click those away happily. Click, click, click. There they go. And from here I'll take from the top above it. Nice. And I know that there are a couple over here as well from below it. Gone. gone. Nice. So I think that that was pretty much everything. So what have we got now? The image is cleaned up. It just looks like an image that is black and white of a man with a very cool older hairstyle. So now I'm just going to change here to the crop tool by hitting C going to increase the size of the canvas to give him some headroom and also some room to grow here on either side and I'll just crop here until he happens to be centered in the frame and I'm going to add some height here as well bring it to about here in fact let's bring it down closer to 1200 pixels something like that and we'll accept that now hit M to go back to my selection tool and let's zoom in on this so that we can get a good nice selection to use for generative fill. And there aren't really any obstacles to avoid. I'm just going to bring it up and out a little bit from the edges to try to avoid any outlining from happening. So I'm going to invert the selection. So now it's this blank canvas area that's selected. Hit generate a fill, hit generate, and we will see what the variations look like when they come back. And at the same time, I want to consider whether or not he needs to be put into a background environment. We'll see how he pops here with these backgrounds that it provides for him. Let's just check this out. And also let's see how dapper his wardrobe is. That's pretty cool. Number two, number three, my goodness. If that tie were in order, that would be a wicked shot. But I think I would probably take number two, even though there's some vintage action going on around the edges. I think that it is a vintage photo and I think that it does come across well. But all that being said, I still think that if we were to isolate him as the subject in our image that we can put him in a background of sorts so we'll invert this and let's ask for him to be at a movie theater and put him in a movie theater environment hopefully it's going to keep the black and white and not add him in a color environment I've never seen AI do that, but I guess it could happen. We'll find out. Also noting that we have this piece down here that wasn't filled. That's pretty dramatic. Number two, number three. That's a pretty cool shot, and so is that one. I think I'll probably take this guy, and I don't didn't have to be concerned about down here because it did the consideration for me and didn't have some seats or something popping through there. So here we go. And if we weren't happy with any of those, we could just generate again. 
and we could ask for him to be at a casino or how about casino in background by the way if you make any spelling mistakes any typos the AI is definitely going to understand what it is that you're saying I've never had it not recognize a typo from day one with anything in AI actually so I'm not sure about that or that or that I don't feel like that added anything casino related that's a pretty cool image though let's back out of those and do another round of generative fill and let's try him at a wedding in the background and see if it's going to put him it would be great if it put him outside at like a garden party reception sort of situation inside of a church I guess could work too it's all really just going to see how he pops against the background the actual setting itself I'm less concerned about that's a cool shot so is that and so is that in the end I don't know whether or not that is a wedding or not but that's a pretty cool picture right there and I think that we've done this gentleman some justice without having anything around him but with how these blurred light areas they're almost vignetting him so everything is drawn up and towards his face which is nice and illuminated I think that he would be quite happy with this so that people can see him back in the day he has a little bit of personality right now almost like you could reach out and shake his hand so I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did then like and subscribe to encourage me to make more of them and I will see you next time